This is so weird. Hey you guys, it's Nikki, and I just got done putting together this little soft glam uh, look, and I'm super excited to share it with you. I hope that this all makes sense, and I want things that look complicated to be simple. So, um, this is what I would call a simple, soft glam makeup look. You could wear this to work, you could wear this on a date, you could wear this out to dinner with friends, really any of those things. You could also wear it in your house during quarantine if you feel like it. Thank you for stopping by. I'm so excited to share these things with you. Um, I can't wait to make more tutorials like this. If you want to see them, let me know and I will. I've been a hair and makeup artist for the last almost 10 years of my life. I keep hitting my makeup brushes and that's what that sound is. I love it. It's what I'm passionate about. It's what I do for a living. And I would love to share more of that with you guys. So without further ado, here's a tutorial. <laughs> already done my face but let's get into eyes let's talk about some eyes let's talk about some eyes 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 I already put um the Tarte shape we're just gonna throw that up there yes she's beautiful we love her I'm in the shade light and um, I will just let you guys know that shape tape makes for a darn good eye primer uh that being said my eyes are already primed if I was a one in to just go that extra mile or if I was doing a wedding or a bride or something, I would definitely do a lot more eyeshadow insurance, but since today is just a simple, soft glam, everyday makeup look, we're not going to. Uh, first things first, let's talk product. Um, I happen to be a Tarte junkie. I'm not exclusively a Tarte makeup artist, but I do love it, okay? I love it. I can't help it. I love it. I have a lot of it. It's mostly what I use. Sue me. I love Tarte. Shout out to Tarte. It's vegan, it's natural, I love the clay based um, products, they just work great with my skin. So, Annie Whoville. This is the Tartiest Pro palette. She's cute, right? Oh, look at that, I love it. I'm gonna go with this really, what is her name? Her name's Classic, she's a classic girl. Okay, she's classy. I'm gonna take a black fluffy brush, this one's a MAC 224, we love her. So I'm going to take this all up. Okay, this little hair, she's got to go. Listen, Linda, we're going to brush that all over windshield wiper, pad, tap, whatever you feel you need to do under the brow bone. And I even take it down onto my lid too because it's just a great canvas. It's a great canvas shade. It gets everything ready. It sets your concealer um, and helps the rest of your eyeshadow really pop. So once I have that guy stuck on there, I'm gonna grab my Morphe M433. I really hope that focused. It might not have, I don't know. I'm really not sure, but it's a, you can take my word for it, it's a M433. This is a great dupe for the MAC 217 blending brush, you guys. Listen, I have her, she's right over here. She's a classic girl, we all know her, we all love her. The writing has worn off so you can't even see it. The MAC 217, you guys, she's been around for a long time. And then in comes the Morphe M433, which is a little bit harder to say. This is just as good. <laughs> I will say there are some times that MAC brushes really do the trick for me, especially when I'm doing a wedding. Um, and when these two go head to head, the MAC, she's going to last you way longer. Yeah, I've probably had this brush for like a couple years, and it's my personal collection, so don't judge me for it being dirty. Um, but I do have a couple M433. She holds up. I go straight for a transition shade in this palette. Whew. It's, this one is called Innocent. Ooh, she's innocent. She's right here next to Classic. Take that shade, and you could do any soft brown with like a pink undertone here. And I'm gonna go ahead and tap that into the sides of my eyes and start blending it in. So for to 
today's look, I'm going to be taking the same shade and bringing it about halfway onto my lid as well. I'm just patting it, swiping it on in. can't believe my camera battery is still going. I'm just waiting for it to die any second, to be honest with you. And I'm going to go ahead and drag that down um, to my bottom lash line. That's just going to pull everything together and give you the depth that you're looking for, honey. Everyone wants to have depth, okay? We're not shallow here. We're not trying to be shallow. We're not trying to have shallow looking eyes, okay? We want to have depth in our eyes. So bring that down your lower lash line, sister, brother, friend. I'm going to take Whimsy to be my depth adding shade right here. She's the third one over. I don't know if you have this palette, but it's just a rusty kind of brown color. And anything like that would work for this, just so you know. Don't feel it. You don't have to go buy all the same things. You know, get in your makeup drawer, get creative. You got this. <sighs> My guilty pleasure is I love drinking water out of a fancy Starbucks cup. I have a whole collection. Insert here. I'm just really proud of it. Anyway, back to what we were saying. So yeah, you don't have to buy everything that the beauty tuber, guru, makeup artist, you know, you can just make do with your own. You can still recreate things using different palettes, different colors. Don't get discouraged. Come up with your own situation. That's how I became a makeup artist at some point. Yeah, you just do your thing. It's your thing. Do what you want to do. Mm -hmm. I'm pretty happy with where this is sitting right now, so I'm going to stop building. And I am going to go reach for the conspiracy palette. Listen, there's a lot of crazy colors in here, okay? You know that I'm just using your top row pretty much most of the time. Very rarely do I run down here and grab some colors, but today we're gonna. First of all, I'm gonna take just a theory. She's right here. Can you see? Oh, wait, nope, 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 nope. She's right here. Okay. This is just like a nice champagne, pinky, blush, shimmery color. And I'm just loading up my flat brush. It's a MAC 229. Again, there's tons of amazing Morphe dupes sitting next to me, but just any flat brush will do. So I'm going to go ahead and pat this onto the inner half of my eyelid. Mm, she's shiny. I'm going ahead and bringing this down, as you can see, into like my tear duct area and just kind of bringing it blending it down onto my lower lash line as well. That's going to meet up with where we left off with our depthy shade. And I'm just feeling, I'm feeling like a little glamorous right now. So I'm going to take Not A Fact down here at the bottom. It's really dark, eggplant, kind of mauve looking color. I'm going to take my same 217 brush. And just get like a little tiny, you guys, just a little bit, just a little bit. We're just going to add just a little bit more depth on the outer corner. It's your thing. Do what you want to do. Ooh. So I'm going to take another floofy brush. And I'm going to go in and just kind of blend that out a little bit. We just don't want to have any harsh lines, okay? We just don't. We're not harsh line people. Okay? I want y'all's makeup to look good. I'm gonna grab my Tarte palette again. I'm gonna go to the fourth one down and grab this shade. It's called Smoke. I'm gonna take that on my angled liner brush. This is a Morphe. It's like five or six dollars if you need one. And I'm just going to take it right across the top here. I had to finish.
finish that last little bit off camera because, oh, this little, me and her had some problems, but we're back, we're in shape now. Off camera, I went ahead and did my mascara. Um, we are almost done, but we cannot forget our brows, okay? Listen, can't be doing a full eye look with no eyebrows. I'm gonna grab my spoolie. You know, it was years before I ever knew what this was called. Like years and years. I just called it the eyebrow comb because that's what made sense to me. Um, Yo, my hair looks a crazy mess. We're gonna have to follow this up with a hair tutorial. Mm hmm. This is, again, the Thrive Cosmetics. Sorry, you guys. Brow gel. Insta Brow Fix. Okay? It's good. It's good. I like a lot of brow gels. They're kind of all the same, to be real with you. I mean, I guess they're not all the same. I really like this one. And I actually just waxed my own eyebrows last night, so be nice to me. I think that looks good. Last but not least, we gotta, we gotta do a little lippy. It's right in front of you. Focus on the product. There we go. It's in this color. Okay, it's not gonna show itself to you. It's a Thrive Cosmetics lip filler lip liner. <clears throat> and it is in one of their mauve tones. The color is not on here. Oh, it's in Jessie. It's called Jessie. Hey, Jessie. Did you guys watch that show? It looks like this. It's cute. I like it. Um, it's a nice neutral tone. I'm just gonna line my lips. Perfect. This is the, you guys, Grande Lips. <laughs> I am obsessed with this stuff. Grande Lip It Up. Make them bigger. You know, Grande that lip right on up. I love this color. It's their mauve shade. It's literally just called mauve. Plus, in a few minutes, it'll plump your lips right on up. Make some grande. Does what it says. Oh, right. I'm just not quite satisfied with my, um, my eyes. And I just feel to complete them, I need to take a little bit of that opalescent highlighter. And pop that right into my inner corner. We're just a little we need a little more shine okay I was just feeling it we're just gonna add just a little bit more right there and there we have it soft glam this is the look um, gonna have to go ahead and go ahead and do my hair now because it's been a, it's been a couple days in this quarantine uh, it's been boring but this is the finished look well that is all for today yeah this is kind of awkward for me because I've literally thought of making YouTube videos for probably the last 10 years and uh, when I went into the beauty industry I just went full-fledged salon and bridal and I absolutely love it love doing it um, but I'm realizing during this time of isolation that there are passions I have not pursued because I've lied to myself and told myself I didn't have the time and now there's just absolutely no excuse. Like we do have some time to do projects uh, that maybe we've been wanting to do for a while and this is that for me. So I'm really excited to be creative and expressive and share something with you guys that I feel is useful. <laughs> and. Um, and is fun for for the creator and for the viewer. 
I know that makeup can sometimes be an overwhelming, daunting task for some people. And for me, it's always been fun and artistic and I've always been passionate about it and uh, I've turned it into a career. So any tips, tricks, and tidbits that I can provide, I'm happy to. And I'm just really excited uh, trying to use this really sad time where we're isolated and quarantined and everything um, and use it to create and bring out some light, some hope, some joy. Um, that's what I'm all about. That's what I want for, <laughs> for myself, for the world, for anyone watching this. So thanks for stopping by and hanging out. Oh my gosh, this is crazy. Thank you.